Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. All right, listen, folks, there's, uh, there's no doubt that this is a spectacular-looking car. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching the video right now. Secondly, we realize that we have a lot more horsepower than the standard version. And we throw in the four-speed, too. You know, a lot of people didn't know that these Corvettes came with a three-speed standard, three-speed manual standard. And there are some cars out there with them in there. This car has the, has the four-speed in it like it's supposed to. 327, 350 horse, stamped on the front of the motor, correct like it's supposed to. Ermine white paint, which is great looking on this car, especially with uh, uh, the red line tires on there and the side pipes, looks even more wonderful. And as we walk around the car, uh, everybody wave hi to John O'Neill. Look at him. He's, that's, everybody wants to know who John O'Neill is. That's him. All right. There are so many things about this car that I love that make it so much nicer to drive. Some things are standard. Some things are optional. But for instance, like let's talk about some things that, uh, that just make for a better driving experience. Four-wheel fully independent suspension. It has an independent rear in the car, right? Four-wheel disc brakes. A lot of people don't know Corvettes had independent rear and four-wheel disc brakes. That's why they drive so much like a modern car, but look so great as well. But that's also why they were so expensive when they were new, and hence the reason they're more expensive than, say, a Camaro or a Chevelle today, all right? Red lines on here. We put radials on the car because the car drives so much better with the red line radials versus the period correct red line bias ply tires. I don't think you'd love them, but we're happy to put those on and swap them for the radials if you want. Doesn't matter to me. They're both the same cost, all right? And we walk around the side pipes. They just make just enough noise so that when you're rolling down the road, kind of come right outside your ear and it sounds really, really wonderful. This car has a couple of nice features in the sense that it has uh, a gorgeous ermine white body, but also has a white top. It also comes with this hard top as well uh, over there, which gives it a completely different look when that's on. So you have almost two completely different looking cars. But let's talk about quality of paint. White is not great at showing you uh, because of it blows out the camera, but see how clearly you can read all of those words in there. That's what you should be looking for when you're buying one of these cars. You have somebody do a video for you and the, well, the letters need to be crisp. You're going to be able to see the letters, but they need to be crisp so you know that's the kind of quality paint. The better the paint job is, the crisper the letters, the more it will reflect back, reflect back and, uh, and you'll see the kind of quality car that you're getting. All right? All right, so wrapped up in these cars is the expense of the restoration. The underneath of this car is beautifully detailed. You're going to love that. But throw in things like the chrome bumpers being redone. You say, well, chrome bumpers, who cares? A bumper's a bumper, right? No, a bumper's not a bumper. On a Corvette, these bumpers right here are uh, probably somewhere around 1500 bucks for each front and rear. So you could have in between three and $5,000 tied up in the bumpers, depending on uh, the year of the car. So that's expensive in its own right. All gorgeous paint, all right? These wheels, these wheels right here, very expensive. The wheel and tire package alone is $4,000, all right? Throw in the side pipes, and you're talking about another uh, $2,500. So all these little things add up, but that's a, one of the reasons why the car looks so great. Because a lot of people say, wow, that's a great looking car, but they never know why it's a great looking car. Those wheels, awesome, right? Red line tires, awesome. Side pipes, awesome, right? Then we throw in little things like this hard top here that's all nicely restored, okay? Inside of it's all nicely restored with new weather stripping, new headliner, all of this is detailed. We'll give you the rack as well if you'd like us to. Just remind us and we'll put it inside the car when we ship it to you, all right? Unless you're coming here, then we'll just bolt it on the car and you can take it with you, all right? Keep coming around the back for a minute. One of the things you'll notice missing back here, all right? Yes, yeah, something is missing. You go, oh man, I love the car so much until I found out something was missing. Well, what's missing is the holes for the rear exit exhaust because you have side pipes, all right? And so you don't get that. This right here, painted body color to match. Cross flags looks really nice. And here, this is positioned in the center. A lot of people say, well, to tell if a car's been hit, you want to look and see if this is centered. If it's ever been an accident, typically these will not center up anymore. And that's why this centers up really well. It appears to be a no-hit car and appears to be a wonderful, wonderful car. So let me throw up the top for you real quick so you can see what it looks like with a convertible top because I'm hoping that you're going to drive this car all year. It has heat, right? It has a great blower. It has all those things going for it. And nothing is better than a fall driving experience. And even in a winter day, man, you could drive this car to work. It has a choke on it. It does all the things it was supposed to do in 1967. And somebody in 1967 did drive this car to work. All right, so part of the restoration is back here as well. So all new carpeting, uh, weather stripping, comes with a little car cover on top of it. And it's nicely detailed back here behind the seats. And then you can see what this looks like with the top up. It looks really, really nice, especially a white top uh, with a white car. Just love the look of that. 
It's so clean and fresh, and white's becoming the most popular color now on new cars. Uh, it easily can be seen how it was popular back in the day on these as well. Hey, I just want to show you how quick it is. If you go to work, you want to throw the top up, roll the windows up, keep the dust and dirt out, that's fine, no big deal. I just unlatched the two latches in front. I pulled the handle inside here, okay, which pops this part right here. All right, then I do one more this side. And this is how fast and easy it is to put this in. And look where I am. Now I'm convertibilizing. I got the proper gel in my hair today. It's high speed and I'm ready to roll. All right, so uh, as we get inside here, because that's where you're going to spend your time. All right, this is leather, by the way, not vinyl. These are leather seat covers. All right, and it's detailed nicely in here as well. So the way I get in, because I'm 6'1", and I'm, I like to uh, jump in like that, slide the seat back. I probably should have done that first, but at least you know uh, how big everything is inside now. And so for us bigger guys, there's plenty of room in here. Plenty of room. And there's some great storage back here. You can throw uh, some stuff in there. And it's got storage underneath too if you want stuff out of sight, out of mind. It says the original Wonder Bar AM FM, right? Factory clock, full factory gauges, man. 7,000 RPM tack, 160 mile an hour speedometer. Obviously a fuel gauge, but it's got volts, it's got oil pressure, it's got water temperature. Uh, it's got one of the best looking steering wheels ever, ever designed. And uh, the interior has just uh, aged beautifully. It doesn't look tired inside, it doesn't look outdated. It's still got the racing kind of humps to it. And one of the things that we do for most people, uh, and we can do that for you as well, is install a modern sound system right there in the glove box. And uh, that keeps the dash looking stock, but you can have satellite, you can stream your music from your iPhone, uh, and you get some great sound as well as you know all the modern things that you might like to get. Because having the side pipes is awesome, but you might want some tunes too while you're rolling down the side pipes. So my thinking is this, that you, you get in the car and call whoever it is that you're on the way home, Listen, I'm on my way, I'll see you in a little bit. And you disconnect for a minute, man. No more, no more Facebook feed, no more Twitter feed, no more emails, text messages, all this stuff that keeps you so connected, which is so important. That's the idea, man, is to disconnect and connect with this right here, and you just roll on down the road. I'm guaranteed, change your life. It's like therapy, and uh, these continue to keep going up in value, so what's not to like about that, too? All right, so we close up the video. Listen, we're talking about 327, 350 horse car, right? Four speed. Four wheel disc brakes, great looking paint, right? Leather seating, hard top, right? And a beautiful restoration. What's not to like, man? Then throw in some of the other stuff that lots of the other cars that you're looking at don't have. For instance, the alloys on here. They're, they're the bolt-on knockoffs, right? Required for 67. Uh, the red line radials to make it drive really nice. The side pipes, which sound like uh, some sort of melody that should be on a soundtrack and that's all that should play over and over. Maybe that becomes the ringtone to your phone. Who knows? You never know. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about the 67 Ermine White Roadster. It's hard to beat the, the looks of a mid-year Corvette, but then uh, it's even harder to beat this sound as well.